I'm Kristen with Head, Shoulders, Teeth, and Tongue, and today I've got Dr. Brittany Johansson, and she is awesome. Um, she is highly skilled in airway dentistry, and that is all she does. She doesn't do any regular dentistry like you would think, like fillings, crowns, like all those kinds of things. She focuses on airway, and I'm super excited for her to be here with us because she knows all about it, and she has helped so many people um, with snoring, with um, jaw joint issues, which is called the TMJ issues. Um, she's been helping people reduce their breathing disorders of other kinds while they're sleeping because it's not just snoring and sleep apnea, right? There's other things that can be going on. And, um, and she's very thorough and she makes sure that she really can help a person before she starts. And so I'm excited to hear what she has to say. Dr. Brittany, tell us just a little bit about how you got into this. Um, my mom, bless her heart, love you mom. <laughs> um, she would fall asleep in the dental chair all the time. And uh, that got really concerning. And so I was like, well, let's figure out kind of what's happening. Cause I started learning about sleep apnea and how the airway really affects that. And um, I wanted my three beautiful kids to grow up with their grandma. And so I was worried for her and I learned more about it. And um, she's been a big uh, motivating factor to continue to learn more and, and, all the different things and so as i started helping my mom i thought of all the other people that i could help with that and i liked gen general dentistry it was really fun but i love and i have this passion for airway dentistry because it can make a big impact in, in someone's life thank heavens because we want our grandmas around so tell me just a little bit about what are some of the things that you're checking when someone is concerned about their sleep or maybe their spouse has told them that they ought to be concerned about their sleep or something like that. They come see you. Uh, what are you going to do to check to see if you can help them specifically? Yeah, great question. So um, I am looking at uh, three main things that I'm going around and doing. I'm doing a home sleep screening just to see, hey, quantitatively, what is your sleep like? So you can tell me that you don't wake up feeling well rested in the morning, but I want to see how many times do you actually stop breathing and how urgent is this? And do we need to get a medical colleague involved like uh, right from the get go? Or is this something that um, we can go through expansion and I'm, I'm confident that that's going to help as well. So there's a, multiple different things, but the home sleep screening is one that I do. Uh, then I also look at a comprehensive exam. During that comprehensive exam, I'm looking full head and neck, looking for looking at the tongue, the teeth, the joints, the sinuses, the airway, everything with that. Um, and then I'm looking at a 3D x-ray and that 3D x-ray goes all the way around your head. And then it volumetrically allows me to see the airway, the joints, the sinuses, the septum, and the teeth. I have had some people ask me, how do I know that what you are going to do for me will help me? And um, and it's true, like, you know, we both can help people with sleep, but unless we have that as home assessment or that x-ray that goes around the head to really see what's going on in the airway, um, how would we know? So I love that you are taking that on everybody that's coming in, because let's find out, because maybe it's a vitamin deficiency, like vitamin D, or maybe it's something else, right? And and the airway might be fine, right? And so and, you, mean, you need to go send them off to somebody else if that's the case. And so... That's fantastic that you're doing such a thorough exam on everyone to make sure that you really can be fairly confident in helping that person. Thank you so much, Dr. Brittany. I really, really appreciate this. This has been so fantastic. So much great information and, and now people know where they can get started. And if they, you know, if they want to come see you, you're in Alpine, Utah and yeah. they can get started.